with Champions League qualification secured courtesy of their majestic display against Paris Saint-Germain on Wednesday. City can truly focus on the defence of their Premier League crown. And the visit of a West Ham side sitting fourth in the table means there is no time to bask in the glory of that wonderful European win that has guaranteed them top spot in their group and therefore a seeding in the top pot for the Champions League draw next month. Dawson and Zuma in particular are tall men. Suchek is probably the tallest out there. But it was a good near post header. And does it hit the frame of the goal on the way across from Laporte? It went very close. Might have just brushed the outside of the post and gone wide. Well, this is what Diaz and Emmerich Laporte offer when they come forward. This is their size. Gets in front of Suchak. And, and because of the conditions, it actually is a wise thing because his slightest glance towards goal could result in a goal. So, um, brilliant delivery, just unfortunate for Ermic Laporte. Yeah, it did indeed. Just hit the very outside of the post as it went wide. You could tell it was going wide, but not by much. And now the ball's in the path of Morris. Morris is through and scores! The flag's up. The flag is up. The goal will not count. The celebrations will be short-lived. It is nil-nil still. Mares flagged offside. Well, it came about because West Ham were playing out from the back. They lost it. Obviously, VAR will check that the assistance flag is correct. At the moment, it is not a goal. Uh, the City fans, most of them, haven't realised that fact yet. Yeah, he is offside. Not by much, I hasten to add, but he is offside. It is a good call, and this will not stand. It all came about because of a, a poor clearance and a good block by Sterling. Well, you say poor, poor clearance. I think this is a part and it's a feature of City's game. And out of possession, it's getting amongst, getting amongst the defenders and doing that high press. Uh, and Sterling has done exactly that. He's pressed him. It's run fortunate for, for Moraes, but Moraes is just a, a, a yard offside. Well, part of the tough education that Rotherham United gave Sean Gota before he eventually became a Premier League striker. Now, City have it in the penalty area. Mares goes for goal, and City will score! It wasn't intended as a cross, but Ilkay Gundogan doesn't care, and he tucks it in on the far post, and City are in front. An assist for Mares, but I'm pretty sure he didn't mean it, but who cares? Well, Mares, he cuts in on his left foot. We know he wants to go on his left foot. He shifts, he moves the ball, once he gets on his left foot, he has that shot. There's a slight deflection, it takes it towards Gundogan. And Gundogan's there at the far post. Again, looks as though he's in between defenders, and with a simple side foot. For City's point of view, a brilliant time to score. Because we haven't really had that rhythm that we've been looking for. I think the conditions have a, a large part to play with that. So, I think, it's, it's, are we able to kick on to the next level? Brilliant goal by Gundogan. Well, it's all about being in the right place at the right time. You've heard that phrase many, many times. And Ilkay Gundogan has started to make a habit of being that man just when the ball seems to arrive. Looks as though Mares is going for the bending shot inside that far post. It takes a deflection and Ilkay Gundogan from inside the penalty area. But the one thing I've noticed is when passes are going to play us now, the ball actually so, slows up in a row. So I think players, will, they, they will see this, they'll know this, and they'll be punching in the passes. Yeah, the connection of the pass is going to be absolutely key tonight. That's a handball by Ben Rama. But City are playing on, and all of a sudden, Jesus is in the box, and he puts it into the net. Oh, it's off the line. And the referee has signalled no goal. It was cleared off the line. It looked like it was in. Michael Oliver looked at his watch, but Johnson must have got there before the whole of the ball had gone over. Well, he, he steadies himself as a real go and well he's done absolutely well because he defended it well because it's hit the side of his thigh the keeper's got a little bit and that's why it's actually hit the side of his thigh and gone back to the keeper well, they've managed to work it all the way to the edge of the penalty area where Bernardo Silva has it. Outside it goes to Mares. Mares now with a little step over, lays it back to Carl Walker. Walker looking for some movement, finds Bernardo Silva. On it goes to Mares. Mares just plays it into the area that uh, Jao Cancelo's in, and he shot his low, and the parry goes straight to Mares, and he's hit the outside of the post. And Antonio holds it up, and he's waiting for a bit of a 
a cavalry charge and West Ham haven't really got one and surf therefore Antonio gives it straight to Mares and on it goes to Sterling from Gundogan and Sterling is going towards the edge of the penalty area on towards Jesus and it's cleared away in the nick of time by Cresswell who collided with the post and has hurt himself as well it was excellent defending Jesus was not really in the clear by the time he got the ball and he tried to lay it towards the net and Cresswell got there City have taken that corner short inevitably. We're in the 90th minute and City lead by a goal to nil. It's a bit congested in there and in the end West Ham emerged with it but not for long. Bernardo Silva on the turn. Jesus is in the penalty area. On it goes. Fernandinho! <laughs> There's something about Fernandinho's name that allows you to just roll the O at the end like Aguero. And Fernandinho makes it 2-0 and the points belong to City. It's Fernandinho's first goal since he scored against Manchester United in the Carabao Cup in January. And his goal, his third against West Ham United, ironically, means that City have the points. Sean Gota, match over. Well, yes, it is. I mean, Fernandinho, I said to you a minute ago, he was out wide, and, and we all thought, well, he's come to play alongside Rodri. And I thought, well, why is he out wide as opposed to staying central? Well, we see there, it's, it's not only to, to defend, but also to help with attack. He's in the right position. It's a pullback to him by his fellow Brazilian, side-footed in the corner. Is it his first touch? Well, well who knows and who cares? It's a brilliant touch. <laughs> It was a pass, wasn't it? It was a pass into the net. He didn't hit it, he didn't whack it, he placed it. West Ham desperately trying to get themselves back into this game with at least a platform of a goal. Zuma sweeps it out wide. Everything West Ham are doing is in desperation rather than expectation. The ball is clipped in, it's headed away by Laporte and then Fernandinho's under pressure and then the shot is on target and West Ham have scored! It was a terrific hit from Lanzini. Edison hurled himself at it, couldn't get to it. And West Ham, well, they're back in the game. I'm not sure how much added time there was on the fourth official's board. According to my watch, we're now in the fifth minute of added time. Lanzini has made it 2-1. There is not going to be a clean sheet for the Blues because Lanzini's hit a belter into the roof of the net. It was a superb hit. In the end, Bernardo Silva's thumped the ball from the centre right the way to the corner flag. And uh, now the referee blows his whistle. The victory is confirmed. Lanzini has spoilt uh, Edison's day by uh, breaching the clean sheet. But it counted for nothing other than a statistic. Sean Gota, this was a really well-fought victory. Yes, we always thought it was going to be West Ham in good form. Ends up being, you know, a, well, a brilliant, a brilliant game in the end for City to be able to come away with this because we needed to keep closing that gap on those the, the teams above. Uh, Pat will be disappointed with not having the clean sheet, uh, but at the same time, City get the three points and be very pleased. Milkai Gundogan gave City the lead before half time. City nearly made it two and they hit the post a couple of times, had one cleared off the line. But in the end, it was settled by a very late Fernandinho goal who tapped it in with probably his first touch since coming on as a sub. Lanzini pulled one back deep in stoppage time, but it was nothing more than a consolation. And the final score, therefore, City 2, West Ham 1, and City joined Chelsea on the same number of points ahead of Chelsea's game against Manchester United. The Blues joint top for the moment.